Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is September 29th or 30th, depending on where you are. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's uh, extra bonus question that Larry's doing. So, yeah, so because I've done a lot of these prompts, I forgot how to do it. Okay, to do. Yeah, so let's do a prompt that I haven't done before and we'll pick a random one. I don't know how it's sorted. What, what is this sorted by? Okay, well. Yeah, so let's do a random one, and that'll be my extra one problem of the day. Okay, so yeah, that was actually pretty lucky. Maybe, I wonder if the new, um, new whatever algo um, is a little bit better, because last, before, when I was doing this, I used to get premium questions, and I don't have premium. So, anyway, today's extra problem is 646, maximum length of pair chain. What does that mean? So you're given an array of n pairs where pair supplies left to five. Da, 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 da. Okay. A pair P2, CD follows a PI of B is equal to C. Okay. Um, yeah, longer, longest... Um, uh, longest increasing subsequence is... And this is basically what it is, right? A longest increasing subsequence it's going to be n square, and given the n is equal to thousand, that's probably fast enough. Um, the other one, and of course, is, and also there's, you know, the um, uh, uh, yeah, there's the uh, 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 what am I saying? There's like the segment tree solution as well, um, which I'm not going to get into for this one. But beyond that, there is the canonical longest increasing. Subsequence that's n log n. I'm gonna try to do that one. I don't always. I know that a lot of people have memorized that one per se, but I actually usually do not. So yeah. Also, I don't know if you see, but now I finally fixed the resolution a little bit so that you could see. Um, you know, you could see the bottom. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if I feel how I feel about it yet per se, um, but at least you should see on my my screen. Um, okay. So let's see what I want to do. Right. And is equal to length of pairs. And basically the idea behind it is that for A, B in pairs, we want to see, um, let's say we have a lookup is equal to the do, right? And we want to see where can we add A to, right? Yeah. So we do a binary search where it has to be b has to, c has to be strictly greater than b so we want to do a right where um is it though yeah uh maybe a oh wait no 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 we want to search well we want to search um for the right minus one or something like this yeah i think that's right Maybe not. Because mm, I'm trying to think about a zero case, and I think that's a little bit awkward. But I think the zero case is actually like me doing negative infinity or something like that. So maybe that makes it okay. But yeah. And then so this is the number in which you would insert. And then I think just look up of index is equal to B. Maybe that should be fine. Uh, this autocorrect is messing up with my thingy. Um, but uh, the new autocorrect, I don't know how to turn off. But yeah, and then if index is greater than you go to lookup, link for lookup. Oh, geez. Auto parents as well. Uh, then uh, lookup dot, lookup dot in pen. Uh, I guess a pen B. It doesn't, I don't know how you want to do it. But yeah. And then. Afterwards, we return length of lookup minus one. I think that should be good, hopefully, maybe. If not, then my idea is just really wrong. I forgot to set infinity. Uh, try pay to win. Mm, oh, my output is zero, huh? Let's see, right? So what is this index? So it does a binary search on bisect one right, so it should return one, and then this is zero. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. Hmm. 
because bisect right will return the next number that's bigger than it and then minus one should fix it right hmm. how am i doing this i feel like this is roughly right but my binary search is terrible uh which is why i'm practicing i suppose well okay i think i did it the other way i think what i want is actually infinity and then this will give me the not one and then that will replace it yeah because then the number before that will be okay i think this is what i want um hmm now that's a little bit awkward uh, so then we set this is equal to b but here will never go beyond because of this negative one i'm hand uh this is why I'm, I need to practice because this is something that I think the very good people have now gotten much practice about it and gotta get it right. Okay. So basically, we want to go. Yeah. Okay. So then now it's infinity. We go. No. Maybe this is wrong. But then now we index zero. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this is right. Let's see. I mean, maybe wrong, but I need to kind of see what it looks like. Because, uh, okay, so then now let, let's actually just print out lookup so I could kind of see. So I guess the good thing, I haven't done this yet on this new UI, but maybe if it prints out on the individual one, that's good. Okay, so one, two, it goes two. Um, the two, three is a little bit awkward because you can really, the two matches this two. So the binary search left is not right maybe that's why um but this is not right either because then that means that we don't want to um do it but that means that there should be min of lookup of index uh yeah someone like this maybe I mean, this part is a little bit different. So where do you get eight from? Oh, this is, I'm looking at the, the second part uh, input. It skips, I know that, it, I mean, it makes sense what they did, but it's a little confusing for me. Um, so seven and eight, okay, so two and five. Oh, I really miss, well, understood this form, okay. Well, we're seven minutes in and I finally realized that I misread the form. So the order doesn't matter, okay. I was thinking of longest, okay, fine, fine, fine. I hate you. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let me rethink my strategy. Um, I think it should still be the same. We just sort it first, right? Maybe? Um, okay, am I confident enough? I think the other thing that you can also take advantage of is that left and right is less than a thousand. I think maybe you can do some fancy maths there, but like I think now you can do a sweep line dynamic programmy thing where like, okay, there's a four, it opens a new one, and then you have that like longest um, chain without, um, without um, I'm not even confident this is right to be honest. I'm going to submit just to kind of as a learning experience, but I think the sweep line is how I would do it. And okay, so this actually works. Um, maybe there's an even easier way of doing it. That's why this works. But, but yeah, I think this, so this is n log n, o of n space, o of k space, if you want to say it, but or o of n if you were kind of sorting. But I think you can also just do a sweep line, also n log n, where you, you do a dp on the max to the left. Uh, max number of chain um we can explore that actually okay fine because i think i'm look i'm here to do it for practice so we'll do another way this is n log n um or k log n or n log k maybe maybe that's the better one or n log n plus n log k so this is um longest increasing subsequence after sorting right uh this is the n log n algorithm um so take a screenshot of that or whatever you need and then I'm going to just rewrite this. So then now the way, other way we're going to write is dynamic programming, actually. So yeah, so for A, B in pairs, what are we doing? 
we want to set up a event. <clears throat> How do I set this up? This is good practice, actually. Um, once I understood the question a little bit better. Uh, so events dot append a b no of course not otherwise it's the same thing so at a we want to um, okay but let's keep track of the index we also need to sort it I think oh wait no no we'll sort the events that's why um, yeah this auto Commands. I, I need to turn on or off all these things, but they force you to have it, so it's a little bit silly. But yeah, so now you have, um, let's just say this is, you know, sweep line, and then you find start a pen um, at B, um, negative one index, something like this, right? And the idea here is, let's see, what am I? What is my idea? Here? My idea here is that when I when I finish this oh I see we don't push this until we have the answer I think that's maybe the idea okay so that means that okay let's just say we have defense this and then at B we have answer okay let's just actually keep a keep a type as well okay so then now we have best is equal to zero say and then what we have now is uh, events dot sort, and then for x type and then index in events. Um, let's see, right? So if t is equal to one, that means it's the beginning type. We get the current best, right? So then that we do. Um, hmm, how do I do it? I mean, I, I, the reason why I say it like that is a little bit awkward, but. But it's because um, we probably want a heap, actually. That's that's why I was like halfway through. I was like, oh, maybe I messed this up. Um, so we actually want to create this event as a heap. So we have a heap queue, that heap. So like a heap creation one, make heap or something. Make a heapify, that's it, go. Heapify events. And then now we go while length of events is greater than zero. Um, xt index is equal to events dot uh, uh, dot heap pop. Uh, I can't do parents without uh, this is so silly. Yeah, okay. And then now now we do the event. Okay. So if t is equal to one, we take the current best because by definition, hmm, actually, I want to say by definition, but maybe that's not true just because. Oh no, if we, if we process all the. So, okay, so now we have to make this negative one because we want to process all the, all the beginnings before the end, right? Because we think about two segments and let's say they overlap in the beginning and the end. Um, then we want to, because the beginning would overlap with the end, so that's no good. So you actually want to get the stuff that's before that. So yeah, okay. So what we want to do is actually event that, or in this case, heap q dot heap push events and we want to add um peer sub index that's why we do it oh i guess we could have just actually put b here maybe okay let's just do b here um maybe that works i don't know if that's should be working actually then here we don't need this funkiness uh i don't like the highlighting either actually to be honest i mean i know that some people love it and that's fine but it's just i can't see where my cursor is anymore uh it, it's very confusing for me Okay, um, yeah, so then now, that means that we have B, we push B, we push type 1, and then we push um, the new best, right, best plus 1. Okay, I think that's good. And then else is the other one where, okay, now this is a, now the X is a B effect and, and T is a negative one, which or a positive one in this case, which means that is the end of a thing. So then now at the end of the thing, you can calculate, you know, best is equal to max of best uh, B plus or B. Because uh, this is this variable, which where we store the best plus one. This is a little bit confusing the way I wrote it. I'm not going to lie. So yeah. And then, then we return best. And I think that's mostly it. Though, I mean, it's mostly the idea. Whether this idea is right or not, we will see. Seems okay for these two. Let's give it a quick submit. 
Hopefully no whammy. Yep, looks good. So yeah, so now you've seen it done two ways and again. So yeah, which way was faster? I guess they're both about the same because they do sorting. Maybe there's a linear time way now because you could do it in any order. You have to at least sort. So I don't think that you could do that much faster, but that's interesting actually. But yeah, hopefully this is more in interesting um, than my usual one. So this one is a little bit... Uh, going to take more time just because it's not output sensitive. Actually, it's funny because yesterday we talked about output sensitivity and uh, yeah, okay. We talked about output sensitivity, right? And here, if we want to analyze both algorithms in terms of output sensitivity, um, well, this one actually doesn't take account that at all, right? So this is going to be, um, this is, you know, because of the heapify, each, each pair will be inserted and removed twice. So that's just going to be n log n, right? So this is going to be O of n log n time, O of n space, right? Easy, easy, uh, easy to do, easy to say. Uh, let's do, let's say the other one. How do I, um, hmm. okay, yeah. So take a look at this and snapshot it or whatever. We'll go back to this one. Um, and then here, oh, I forgot about this part actually. So maybe I lied. Um, so yeah, this is going to be O of n log n anyway. So we already did this. I forgot about this n log n, so my bad. Uh, sorting, so time, and also O of n space. So I guess they're the same-ish. Um, the, the reason why I said that is that this part is, um, you know, in terms of space, um, if you want to do additionally, um, it's going to be dominated by the sorting and n log n anyway. But this part is just much faster because um, this is depending on, you know, this is n log k, right? So this extra work is n log k. Where, and this sorting is just really fast in general. But anyway, yeah, so now you've seen this problem solved twice in two different ways. Let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.